hi there now we will come to the unit 4 that is the development of machine learning model it may be have the problem identi identification that is classification clustering regression ranking and the steps involved in machine learning modeling that is the data collection data preprocessing model selection model training model evaluation hyperparameters tuning and seventh one is the predictions we will go step by step so the flow of machine learning model so how the machine learning you will know or how to process the data i will try to explain with the, the with the help of the flow chart so please pay attention how the ml model works so here we can see this is it's identify the problem to be solved and create a clear objective it is called defining of objective so that will be forwarded to collect the data so what kind of collect data from the hospitals health insurance companies social services agencies police and fire departments and it's keep going on and on and on after it will gather all the data required data or the excessive data it will forward it to the for preparation of the data now how it will prepare the data the, the prepared data is a crucial steps involve building a workflow to clean match and blend the data so the preparation is nothing but the stacking of the data with respect to their matchings that is alphabetical in alphabetical order or uh, data matrix order or numerical order or the requirement of the particular processing so the preparation of data and then after the preparation of data then it will say forward to the selecting the algorithm so whatever data we have prepared we need uh, forwarded the data for the algorithm so the algorithm will uh, rectify the data or sort the data for our required output so, so select algorithm will do the depending on the problem to be solved the type of data and appropriate algorithm will be chosen so it will select the algorithm what kind of algorithm it will require to process the amount of data or types of data now the after the selecting the algorithm the train model will come into picture in which the data is fed up data is fed feed as input and the algorithm configured with the required parameters a percent of the data can be utilized to train the model so this is the how the train model in which what kind of algorithm is used how to process it it will the train model will be decided and the later stages the train model is forwarded to the test model and the test model is the remaining data is utilized to test the model for accuracy depending on the results improvement can be performed in the train model or any select algorithm phase or iteratively so this is how the test model can be identified in the process of the machine learning model design flow of machine learning so the after the test of the model the integration of the model has been done and the integration of the model is a publish the prepare experimenter as a web services so the application use the model so the whatever the result is plotted they will published for the next computations so this is how the flow of model works so generally the machine learning is ideal for inter inferring solution to problems that have a large representative data sets the key lies in training and retraining the model to make a perfect prediction or more accurate predictions this is how the flow of machine learning model is used now the problem identification though the problem identification is the first one is a regression 
if the prediction value tends to be a continuous value then it falls under the regression type problem in machine learning giving area name size of land etc etc as a feature and predicting expected cost of the land this is how the regression works now second one is the classification if the prediction value tends to be a categoric distance like yes or no positive negative then it's fun falls under classification types of problem in which machine learning like give a sentence predicting whether it is negative or positive review type clustering grouping a set points to be given number of clusters given 3 4 8 9 numbers of clusters to be then the ml machine learning system might divide them again into set cluster that is one of 3 and 4 cluster 2 of 8 and 9 so this is a clustering this is a segregation of data and the next one is a ranking so ranking is nothing but the constructor ranker from a set of the labeled examples this example set may consist of a instance group that can be scored within a given criteria so the ranking levels are 1 2 3 4 so data sets will be in according to the orders now the problem identification will be explained in clustering what is clustering so here this is the example clustering nothing but gather the data or similar type of historical data this is the how the clustering is explained now classification the new data and the new data is separated by outcome or the merging of the new data will produce a outcome and the regression the historical data and the output so this is the how the regression works the figure illustrate i will uh, coming to the figure illustrate data of and outcome into two dimensional plane that is x y plane machine learning techniques are designed to identify and exploit hidden patterns in data for example for describing the outcome as a grouping of data for clustering problems or for predicting the outcomes of future events for classification regression problems this is the how the problem identification works